when the narcissist finds the perfect supply. When the narcissist finds someone who has all of the required or desirable elements, qualities and characteristics. Someone who ticks all the boxes. Someone who satisfies all of their apparent requirements. This could be different for everyone. But in general, narcissists tend to want what everyone else wants. Female narcissists want a man who is physically attractive, successful, wealthy and powerful. While male narcissists may want a woman who is also physically attractive and has the potential to cook, clean and raise a family. But this is only in general and different narcissists may want different things. Also, it is likely that if you asked a narcissist what they want, they would just say the opposite of whatever it is they desire. But studies have shown that people who are self-absorbed and lack empathy are looking for something to benefit them in some way. So of course they're going to want someone who looks good, someone who is successful, someone who has money, Someone who is kind and compassionate. Someone who is willing to do whatever they want. And that is why you will find that these are often the kinds of people that narcissists end up with. They are very good at tricking these people into believing that they are at the same level or that they have the potential to be where they are at. So they will manage to find their way into this person's life and they will gradually become accustomed to this person's way of living. They might enjoy the freedom of not having to work. They might enjoy a life of luxury. And it becomes customary or usual. It becomes their new normal. But here is where the problem comes in. Because as we know, the longer a narcissist spends around their supply, the less potent it becomes. The less appreciative they are of everything that person does for them. So even though they may have found the perfect supply, and in the beginning they were so happy and excited about everything this person had to offer, It's only a matter of time until they become bored and dissatisfied. Just as they would with anyone else. It's only a matter of time until they begin to lack interest. Not because the person they're with isn't interesting. The perfect supply for a narcissist is likely to be someone who is highly adventurous. Someone who is full of excitement and willing to take risks or try new methods, ideas or experiences. But the problem is, the narcissist cannot be satisfied with anyone for long periods of time. At some point they're going to get bored. The only interesting part of them is learning a new person. They like the rush of adrenaline they get from meeting someone new. But it's only a matter of time until that rush goes away. And that is when they get bored. That is when they begin to lack motivation. They no longer take an interest in you. They no longer do the things that they used to do. They no longer go out of their way to make you happy. All of those qualities and traits 
which you thought were a part of who they are, were nothing more than a fake personality. They've seen how other people act around attractive, successful people to get what they want. So they tried the same game on you. They charmed you emotionally and sexually. They fulfilled your every need and desire until they had you hooked, line and sinker. You were tricked and deceived. You were led to believe that this person would always appreciate you. You were led to believe that they wouldn't take you for granted. But it is inevitable that at some point the narcissist will always get bored. It doesn't matter who they're dealing with. It doesn't matter how attractive they are or how much money they have. At some point the narcissist will get sick and tired of it. You can never do enough for a narcissist. People have ran themselves into the ground trying to please them. But it's never enough. It never makes them happy. You'll only end up burning yourself out. And the reason you'll do that is because you think there's something wrong with you. You think that you're not good enough. And they will keep you thinking in this way. Well, you forget about everything that you did do. All of the things you tried to make them happy. When you're with a narcissist, you try everything you can to be perfect. Without realizing that even a perfect person would not be able to satisfy them. The problem isn't with who they're with. It's not that you can't do enough for them. It's that they cannot be satisfied. They are inadequate. And that is not something that you are responsible for. The narcissist could find the perfect supply. Someone who has everything they desire, want and need. But it's not going to change anything. Because they always find a way to screw it up. They can't help themselves. It's like there's just something in them. That just pushes people away. So while they may be able to attract someone who seems to be everything they might want initially, it's only a matter of time until that supply realizes who and what they're really dealing with. You've only got to remember everything you did for them and how it was never enough. You've only got to remember how they treated you. To know that no one is ever going to be able to make them happy. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.